In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the mean, median, and mode from group data. This question comes from our website, the link's on your screen, by a member. So if you ever need free homework help, don't hesitate to visit us. The question reads, a group of children were asked how many hours a day they spend watching television. Determine the mean, mode, and median, and graph it using a histogram. We'll start with mean. In order to find the mean of group data from a frequency table like this one, you have to use the formula shown underneath, where x bar, which represents the mean, is equal to the sum of the midpoint of each of these rows multiplied to the frequency divided by the sum of the frequencies. So this part right here is the easier of the two. We can find the sum of the frequencies by simply adding up all of these observations. 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2, plus 1. That's 5, 12, 15, 17, and 18. Okay, so we have the denominator being 18. What about the top part? Well, first of all, we need to create another column, which we'll call midpoint. And that's the midpoint of each of these. So the midpoint between 0 and 1 is 0 0.5. The midpoint of 1 and 2 is 1.5. To find the midpoint, you simply add the two numbers up, 1 and 2, which is 3, and divide it by 2. So 2 and 3 makes 5, divided by 2 is 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5, and 5.5. 5. We'll produce another column now. We'll say midpoint times the frequency. So whatever that is, we multiply it by 1. 0 0.5 times 1 makes 0 0.5. 1.5 times 4 makes 6. And you continue to do that for each of these rows. If you add these up, you will end up with the numerator of this formula. So this part right there. The sum of m times f makes exactly 49. So we have x bar is equal to 49 over 18 Dividing these out should give you your mean. And the mean is 2.7, roughly 2.7. Okay, so now you know how to find the mean of group data. What about the mode? Mode is the most frequent value. And if you take a look, the most frequent value occurs between two and three hours. So this right here is the mode, and specifically when we're dealing with group data, or a frequency table, we use the mode interval. So the interval that is most repeating, and that is between two and three hours at seven observations. All right, so we're done mode, we're done mean. What about the median? Median is what's in the middle. To calculate the median, you have to know how many total observations there are. There are a total of 18 observations. The middle observation will be between the ninth and 10th observation. The reason I know that is by using this handy formula, where you take the number of observations, add one, and divide by two. 19 divided by two is 9.5, and that's in between nine and 10. The interval that contains the 9.5th observation will tell us information about the median that we're looking for. The frequency from the first row is one. The cumulative frequency of the first two rows is five. The cumulative frequency of the first three rows, five plus seven is 12. We've already surpassed the 9.5th observation. So 12 goes beyond the ninth and 10th observation. Therefore, we can conclude that the median exists between two and three hours. Now you find the average between two and three, you add 2 plus 3, which is 5, divided by 2, and you end up with 2.5 being your median. Lastly, we will create a histogram. Along the x-axis will be the number of hours, ranging from 0 to 1 all the way to 5 to 6. And the frequency will go along the y-axis. It doesn't go beyond 7. Between 0 and 1, it goes to 1. 1 and 2, it extends to 4. Of course, if you were doing this on graph paper, it would be a lot more convenient. Two to three is the maximum. 
3 to 4 is 3, 4 to 5 is 2, and 5 to 6 is 1. You would give it a title and you'd be good to go. And there you have it. That is how to find the mean, median, and mode from group data.